All right, guys, you know, Liz, thank you so much. And the reason for those evacuations, as you've been hearing, is to get out of the way of the water, right? Uh, I want to take you to this map here. What this is is showing you storm surge. And this is area in here, and I'll zoom in a little bit to give you an idea. But I want to back up. This particular update from the Hurricane Center came out yesterday evening. That's when the forecast track had it coming just up our coast. That's almost worst case scenario for us here in Tampa Bay because counterclockwise spin of those winds pushes water right up into the bay. Look at all the flooding that can take place, especially in the northern part of the bay, right? That's the main threat, but it's all around the, the perimeter of the bay and it also includes the barrier islands as well too. Okay, so let me zoom, zoom out a little bit here. That was last night. Let me show you the very latest update from the Hurricane Center. And it's tough to see anything. In fact, watch this. I got to go all the way over here to show you where the forecast track of the center is. And that would take it in down here towards Venice, towards Nokomis. So now your storm surge threat is really going to be from Laurel and Venice southward. So that's why I say I'm more concerned now towards Siesta Key, Minnesota Key, and those areas down south. Because if the center is here, it will push water up into here. Now, there are a lot of folks that are now sitting and, and watching this and hearing me say this from uh, a shelter <laughs> in Pinellas County or in Hillsborough County. The threat now in this area is much, much lower. We have to make sure we don't know that this is not locked in. That's the problem, right? And that's why we know things are going to be changing all the way through this. This is a very good sign for Tampa Bay people because of that storm surge would be very low. Let me show you right now. There will be some areas and it's tough to see. There's some light blue here. That's about one to two foot of surge. I do expect some water to come into the bay. You'll notice higher tides. Uh, Rich was just telling me we have moon tides as well. Uh, king tides because of the new moon, uh, I should say. And they're going to peak tomorrow night into Thursday when this is coming through. So tides are going to be running high anyways. But eventually, if the storm goes to our south, it's going to blow water out of the bay and quite a bit of water out of the bay. It could be another similar situation to what we saw when Irma went by.